वेलकम बैक एज इन दिस वीडियो आई बी अपडेटिंग माई एफ एस आर फेम जनरेशन गाइड फॉर ड्रैगन स्टॉक मार टू रनिंग ऑन स्टीम डेक विद स्टीम ओ एस एंड रॉक एलाइव विद विंडोज इलेवन आई बी यूजिंग द लेटेस्ट प्रीव्यू थर्टीन नाइटली बिल्ड ऑफ ऑप्ट स्केल मॉड टू इंजेक्ट न्यूकम नाइन स्मॉड इन टू द गेम दिस लेटेस्ट बिल्ड ऑफ ऑप्ट स्केल मॉड सपोर्ट स्ट्रीम लाइन स्पूफिंग फॉर एक्सपोजिंग इन गेम डी एल एस एस सेटिंग्स आई वोट बी यूजिंग डी एस जी आई स्पूफिंग स्ट्रीम लाइन स्पूफिंग हेल्थ इन फिक्सिंग द क्रैशिंग इशू दैट यूज टू अकर विद डी एस जी आई स्पूफिंग इनेबल ऑन आई दर डिवाइस Unfortunately, mod anti-lag to still causes excessive stuttering, so it's recommended to disable it. Latency flex works just fine on Linux-based TeamOS. Now I've already done my testing. This game still has very poor performance on both of the devices. Personally, I don't recommend playing this game on Steam Deck. I'll kick things off with ROG Ally Windows. Download OptiScaler mod. We will 13 nightly build from OptiScaler's GitHub page. I'll give its link in the description. Scroll down until you find the asset section expanded. Click on the dot seven zero link here. Version zero point seven point seven. Preview thirteen two zero two five zero seven one nine. We'll be using build zero point one three zero universal version of Newcom Nine Smart. You can download it for free from Nexus Smarts. Just need to have free Nexus Smarts account in order to download any stuff from here. Click on manual download under universal. Click on slow download. The download will start. We'll be using Fake Mega House Fake NV API version one point three point four. It replaces the in-game reflex implementation with anti-lag too. Expand the asset section. Click on the dot seven zero link here. First, I'll install OptiScaler mod. Just open its archive file. Copy the highlighted files. Four of them. Need to paste them in the games install directory. Select the game in your Steam library. Right-click, manage. Click on Browse local files. Paste everything here. Change the name of optiscaler.dll file to txgi.dll. Open optiscaler.ini file. Just set the external upscaler to xcss. Set fg type to newcams. N u k e m s. Scroll down to find the init flag section. There it is. From here, just set auto exposure setting to true. If after enabling DLSS frame generation setting, the game's menu becomes blank, then you can try enabling one setting under hotfix section. There is the hotfix section, and all you need to do is enable restore compute signature setting. Just set it to true. By default, this setting should get enabled automatically on Windows, but for some reason, the setting did not get enabled on Steam Deck. You need to manually set it to true. I'll just leave it at auto file save close. Now I'll install Newcom Nine Smart. Open the mods archive file. Open DLL underscore version folder. Copy this DLL file. DLS G to F S R three A M D is better. Need to paste it in the games install directory. Right here. Now I'll install Fake N V A P I. Open its archive file. Copy the two files present inside this archive file. Paste them in the games install directory. Right here, mod anti-lag too causes excessive stuttering on Windows, so I'll disable it. Open fake and VAPI dot ini file. Just set force reflex to one. Click on file. Click on save. Close. Everything has been installed. Adrenaline settings for the game. Pre-sync, pre-sync, anti-lag settings on. I have set the UMA buffer size to six GB. Mala is running on BIOS version three four two. Install Alice's latest official GPU driver that I had support for Doom: The Dark Ages using a 27 watts manual profile. All three power values set at 27 watts. 720p resolution CPU boost disabled. Connected my FlyDG Vita 4 Pro controller to Alice via Bluetooth mode. X input controller. Lost the game. It should not crash now. Yeah, worked. Don't even need to use RE framework to get OptiScaler mod working. We are in graphics settings. Display mode portal has 720p resolution, refresh rate 120 hertz, variable frame rate. Yeah, we have access to DLSS super resolution setting. Now the resolutions for DLSS quality modes are incorrect. Quality mode uses the resolution for balance mode and vice versa. So I have set DLSS super resolution to balance. You can verify the base and upscale resolution via OptiScaler menu. Show you this. 
DLSS frame generation I will disable it for the time being reflex disable most of the settings are set to low quickly scroll down ray tracing off of course texture filtering and texture quality is set to medium for texture quality it's 0.25 GB with these settings VRAM usage will be close to 6 GB low shadow cache enable disable contact shadows post processing effects like motion blur, bloom, depth of field, lens flare, lens distortion off we are in open optics scale menu by pressing the insert keyboard key I'll increase its size click on the drop down bar next to menu UI scale set the value to 1.1 we are much better now Nikon 9's mod is disabled auto export setting is on from this drop down bar make sure XCSS subscale is selected version 2.0.1 DXGI is spoofing its off input TLSS everything is working properly save INI yeah I am in one watt lot of NPCs here expect the FPS to drop below 30 not hitting the GP bottleneck heading for the marketplace it's nearby mm, there it is 29 FPS still not hitting the GP bottleneck this is so disappointing Games performance here is limited by the single core CPU performance. Ninety percent GPU load. VRAM usage it's close to five point seven GB. Yeah, twenty-eight to thirty FPS. You can check the base resolution from OptiScaler menu. Eight five four zero by four eighty upscale to. 720p 1.5 just check this setting override per quality preset under upscale ratio override 1.5 corresponds to upscale as quality preset now I'll enable Nucleum 9's FSR frame generation from the in-game settings just enable reflex and DLSS frame generation settings on save Resume the game. Yeah, FPS increased to around 60. Can observe the added amount of smoothness. Also observing some latency. Shouldn't be a problem. Not a first person shooter. 55 to 60 FPS now. Not observing any artifacts around my character model. That's really good to see. If you use LSFG in this game, character's head will flicker games interface is not flickering you can check the debug view via optiscalar menu if it's a frame generation debug view I enabled it and yeah, no hard elements are visible in the bottom middle image games interface should not flicker with frame generation on the color palette is exactly the same for the bottom middle and bottom right images smoothing effect should work properly displays are working properly for all of the images this occlusion mask depth resources motion vectors all good here debug view disabled I just leave this place open areas are very heavy on the GPU NPCs peering in front of me out of thin air checkpoint you will observe a screen tearing like effect around the edges of the display this effect becomes more noticeable when the base fps is on the lower side 48 fps here the open area is very heavy on the gpu no excessive stuttering as i disable anti lag 2 so 45 to 60 fps with mod fsr pain generation on raw gala This is TeamOS Sun again desktop mode. First, just download the latest preview 13 nightly build of OptiScaler mod from GitHub. Give its link in the description. Scroll down until you find the asset section. Expand it. Click on the dot 7 c link here. 0 0.7.7 preview 13 2025 0719. We'll be using build 0 
Universal version of Nukem 9 Smart can be downloaded for free from Nexus Smart's website. Click on Manual Download under Universal. Click on Slow Download here. We'll be using Fake Makehouse Fake NV API version 1.3.4. We'll replace the in-game Reflex implementation with Latency Flex on Linux. Expand the Asset section. Click on the dot .7G link here. Open Dolphin File Explorer. Go to Downloads. Here you'll find all of the files that you just downloaded. I have transferred them to another directory, it does not matter. First I'll install OptiScale mod, open its archive file, click on extract here, extract, open the extracted folder, there it is, and just select the highlighted files, 4 of them, need to paste them in the games install directory, right click, cut. Select the game in your Steam library, right click manage, click on browse local files, paste everything here. Now just change the name of optiscaler.tll file to dxgi.tll. Open optiscaler.ini file and just set dx12 upscaler to xcss, set fg type to newcams. As we will be using Nukem 9 small and UKEMS. I just zoom in now. Scroll down until you find the NH flag section. And there it is. From here, just set auto exposure to true. Now, scroll down until you find the hotfix section. And there it is. From here, just need to set. Restore compute signature to true by default it's set to auto. Click on save here. Close. Now I'll install Nukem 9 Smart. You can delete the extracted OptiScaler folder. Open Nukem 9 Smart archive file. Open DLL underscore version folder. Expand it. Just need to extract this DLL file. DLSH U2FSR3 AMD is better. Drag and drop it outside of this archive window. There it is. Select it, right click, cut. And just paste it in the games install directory where you install OptiScaler mod. Right here. Now I'll install fake NV API. Open its archive file. Extract the two files present inside this archive file. Drag and drop them outside of this archive window. There they are. Select them. Right click, cut paste them in the games install directory right here done don't need to use a launch command in order to get the mod working game should load up the mod automatically switch to streamers gaming mode using G Proton version 10-10 as the compatibility layer I have the LCD variant of tech its display supports up to 60Hz refresh rate we are in performance game settings Overlay level set to 2. Uncap the FPS by enabling disable frame limit and a lot airing settings. That's it. Show you the in game graphics settings. Display mode set to full screen 720p resolution. At 800p resolution, you come nice mod. Causes some graphical artifacts. Texture flickering. So stick to 720p resolution. Frame rate variable. We sync off. Here yeah, we have access to DLSS super resolution setting. And just set it to quality. In this game, incorrect resolutions are used for DLSS quality modes. For the quality preset, balance preset resolution is used and vice versa. So I'll stick with quality here. It's actually the balance preset of DLSS. You can check the base and upscale resolution via OptiScaler menu at its bottom. DLSS frame generation setting on. Before enabling it, enable reflex setting. Fake NV API will replace it with latency flex frame generation on most of the effects are disabled texture filtering set to low bilinear texture quality low 0 GB shadow cast setting on effects disabled apply the settings save game should not crash there you go now for some reason this game keeps resetting its in game settings after every game restart this disables the in-game DLSS upscaler even when it is enabled from the in-game settings which results in OptiScaler mod getting disabled and just demonstrate this issue quit 
it only happens on Steam Deck with the mods installed. Play. Restart the game. Graphic settings have been adjusted to match your setup. See. Open the in-game graphics settings. DLSS Super Resolution Frame Generation are still enabled, but if you enable OptiScaler menu, you will see this message: XCSS is active, but not currently used by the game. So in order to fix this issue, all you need to do is just set DLSS Super Resolution to off. Now set it to your desired quality mode. Select quality. Ah, uh, other settings also got reset. See, need to change them. Apply. Save changes. Now open up the scale menu. It's working. I'll increase the menu size. Click on the drop down bar next to menu U S scale. Set its value to 1.1. From this drop down bar, make sure. XSS upscaler selected version of the upscaler 2.0.1 DXJS spoofing off input DLSS auto export setting is on jump into the game if you don't have a keyboard just map the insert keyboard key to any of steam deck's back grip buttons open performance qm settings and just enable manual gpu clock speed setting and set the value to 1400 megahertz Index APU draws up to 15 watts of power, which is shared between the CPU and the GPU. If the CPU draws too much power, GPU's performance will tank, and vice versa. I'm in one watt. There's my character. Yeah, I can observe the added amount of smoothness. Observing some latency as well. FPS here is close to 37, 35 to 40 FPS with frame generation. This is the balance we set of XSS. Image quality is looking decent. Not impressed with the visuals. One watt is very heavy on the CPU. And show you the FSR frame generation debug view. Open OptiScaler menu. You can nice mod status ads working. You can check the base and upscale resolution values. Right here, 1.7 base resolution, 7.5 7 by 4 to 4 pixels. If you check this setting, override per quality, you can see that 1.7 corresponds to balance preset of the upscaler. Debug you on. No hard elements are visible in the bottom middle image. Games interface won't flicker with FSR frame generation on. Color palette is exactly the same for the bottom middle and bottom right images. Smoothing effect of FSR should work properly. Displays are working properly for all of the images. Just disable the deep up view. Save INI. Okay, I'll just leave this place. Open area is very heavy on the GPU. Games interface is not flickering. It will flicker if you set the in game resolution to 800p. I was expecting the latency to be much worse and make you find much worse than this. Seems latency flex is working. Yeah, resolution dropped to 30. This means the base resolution here is close to 15. You see a tearing like effect around the edges of the display. The game is still very poorly optimized. Does not even support FSR frame generation. I doubt Capcom will add it to the game in the near future. That's it with the video guys. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.